Number 10. The Montauk Monster Out of all the mysterious creatures found on the beach, the Montauk Monster is by far the most disturbing. A photo of this creature surfaced in 2008 and there's no denying that it looks exactly like a horrifying demon from another dimension. It was found on a beach in Montauk, New York, and the strange creature could not be immediately identified. It was apparently taken by someone unknown for God knows what reason, and a lengthy debate has been going on for years about the true identity of the creature. A lot of people want to label it as a mysterious monster, but apparently it was actually just a decomposing raccoon that had lost its hair and skin, making it look like a freak. Of course, this can't be proven since the corpse is not available for dissection, but upon a closer look it does kind of resemble a raccoon. But then again, it kind of doesn't. It was actually later on that a trio of men came forward and told news outlets that they had found a dead raccoon and they gave it a Viking funeral by setting it on fire on the water. That would account for the Montauk monster's horrifying appearance. It was burned and then later washed up on shore. If creatures like this started appearing on beaches near me, I would stay landlocked for the rest of my days here on Earth. Wouldn't you? That thing looks like it's carrying a serious load of diseases and would make you violently sick if you even touched it. Number 9. Fanged Monster in England In 2015, a fanged monster was discovered washed up on shore near Littleborough in England. This quiet area is a place known for boating, fishing and childhood memories. So you can imagine the shock of the locals when they discovered a fanged sea beast sitting on the shores as if it birthed from a nightmare. The creature was allegedly five feet long and had a mouth full of fangs. Residents claimed that they had no idea something so large was living in the water of Hollingworth Lake where the thing washed up. One resident even called it a prehistoric monster. However, the mystery was short-lived as the fish was likely just an ordinary pike, at least according to the Manchester Evening News. Could you imagine capturing this sea monster and preparing it to go on a dinner plate? No picky eater would touch it, but maybe some people wouldn't mind having a bite at this fish that most likely took bites out of plenty of other creatures during its lifetime. Number 8. The Kraken of Indonesia The Kraken of Indonesia is one of the more mysterious monsters on this list. It washed ashore in 2017 at Saram Island and freaked out all the locals. The monster was at least 49 feet long and deep in the progress of decomposing. That's actually the main problem with this mystery. The monster was so badly rotted that when it washed ashore it was not easily identifiable. It was basically just a mass of flesh that turned the water a horrifying red colour. Witnesses claimed that it was a spongy and floating mass and many people first thought it was a giant squid washed up on the shore. However, conservationists were quick to point out that there was a skull, jaw and spine clearly visible in the photographs. That means it definitely couldn't have been a squid. In all likelihood, this monster was really just a dead whale that got beached. Whales typically sink to the bottom of the ocean after they die, but they do sometimes stay afloat because of bacterial gases. All those gases basically turned the dead whale into a floating balloon, and so it inevitably ended up on a shore somewhere. Did you know that sometimes beached whale carcasses fill up with so much gas that they eventually explode like a disgusting rotting balloon? The smell is so powerful and disturbing that hazmat crews have to show up in special suits to clear away the chunks of flesh. However, seagulls and other wildlife have a field day gnawing on the bits of decaying meat. How vile is that? Number 7. Marine Monster According to Fox News, a mysterious marine monster washed up on Folly Beach in South Carolina back in 2012. This weird creature at first glance looked like a giant isopod that could eat an entire family of beachgoers. The fish in the photographs seems to have a bony plating all over its body, and it also looks to be roughly 10 feet long. There is no denying the weird, almost alien qualities about this mysterious sea creature. People initially thought that it was some kind of dinosaur, that it was a mutant fish, and even that it was a submarine chupacabra. However, like most things that wash up on shore, the mystery didn't last very long. The South Carolina Aquarium finally came forward and declared that the monster was in fact a sturgeon that had washed up on the shore. Sturgeons are a large fish with bony bodies, and they have relatives that date back as far as 350 million years ago. Sturgeon fish have also been known to grow until they are over 500 pounds. It's true that the eggs from sturgeons are often eaten as fancy caviar, but I seriously doubt that anyone tried to get the eggs off this dead and rotting sea creature while it sat on the beach. Also, the reason its flesh was such a weird colour was apparently because it got baked in the sun. That's what gave it the weird dino-like look. 
Have you ever eaten fish eggs? Sometimes they're called caviar, and sometimes roe. They're a very fancy food, but many people steer clear because just how strange they look. Tell me what you thought of your fancy feast in the comments below. Then, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, because there are loads more awesome videos coming out really soon. If you don't want to miss them, subscribe now! Number 6. Giant Oarfish The giant oarfish is the all-time coolest sea serpent. It's a literal sea serpent. I can't tell you how much I love saying the word sea serpent. To look at this creature with your own eyes, you would think you were looking at something from a fantasy novel. These monster fish can grow to be 600 pounds, and they are extremely rare to find washed up on the shore. However, many people believe that the giant oarfish is able to do something amazing. Supposedly, they can predict earthquakes. There have been several incidents, as reported by How Stuff Works, of oarfish washing ashore right before seismic activity causes a natural disaster. This is something talked a lot about in Japanese fables, and there are even some other Asian countries, specifically in the Philippines, that believe something similar. According to experts, there might be more to this legend than meets the eye. A lot of scientists now believe that the release of carbon monoxide gas before an earthquake could cause an exodus from deep parts of the ocean. This would mean that the oarfish are forced upwards prior to an earthquake, where sometimes they wash ashore and serve as a warning to the local people that disaster is near. Number 5. Demon Dolphin When we think of dolphins, we usually think about happy sea creatures splashing in the water, chirping happily, and playing with boats as they pass by. Dolphins are usually jubilant animals that are a lot of fun. That's why it's so strange that on an island in Russia back in 2015, a demon dolphin washed ashore that was horrifying enough to scare even the bravest person. The corpse was clearly rotting when it washed up, and it looks like a weird cross between a dolphin and a giant feathered bird. It had an elongated beak, which made people instantly think of a dolphin. But it also had fur. Last time I checked, dolphins didn't have any hair. There could have been some skin deterioration while rotting in the water, but according to a report by The Independent, eyewitnesses also said the creature looks like it had paws. And some people claimed this freakish monstrosity could have been a bottlenose whale baby, but sadly we will never know for sure. Before any kind of conclusion could be reached, the body washed back out to sea and is undoubtedly fish food already at the bottom of the ocean. Number 4. Cape Town Creature The Cape Town Creature is so horrifying it's hard to look at. It makes one think of the infamous Cenobites from Clive Barker's novels and the Hellraiser movie that was inspired by them. The creature washed up on a beach in Cape Town and was plucked from the sand by a tourist who was staying at a nearby resort. The creature in the photos appears to have a body made of muscle with absolutely no flesh. It also seems to have a mouth with a bunch of very sharp fangs inside of it. It actually looks like someone took this things inside and flipped them inside out. It's pretty gnarly to look at. Luckily, the specimen was photographed and then sent to the Biological Sciences Department at the University of Cape Town. And according to scientists there, their best guess is that the creature is something known as a clipsure, which is a strange animal that feeds primarily on mussels. The experts figure that the corpse of the animal dried out, and that caused it to appear even more disfigured than it already was. And yeah, that does make sense. It was probably just a weird sea creature that got cooked in the sun. Number 3. The Giant Eyeball this next one is not a full animal, but it's a pretty freaky story. What happens when the largest eyeball on the planet washes up on shore? Well, the answer is that people freak out. In 2012, a perfect specimen of an enormous eyeball was found on a beach just 10 miles from Fort Lauderdale. How big was the eyeball, you ask? Well, it was at least the size of a softball. In other words, the eye was larger than your fist and definitely a lot bigger than both of your eyes put together. As you can imagine, after the initial discovery, people were pretty freaked out. Some people first thought it was the eye of a giant squid, but the giant squid would undoubtedly have an even larger eye than this. And so, everyone was scrambling to figure out who the eye belonged to. Was it an underwater cyclops? Was it a baby giant squid? You might be surprised to find out the answer. Fish and wildlife researchers later came forward and declared that the eye belonged to a swordfish. But this would just raise more questions, like, why would a swordfish eyeball float to shore without the body? According to the evidence, the eyeball was removed with a knife, and so experts assumed that a fisherman cut out the eyeball and then tossed it in the water, where it eventually washed up on shore to freak everyone out. Number 2. Sea Monster in New Zealand Buried in the sand on a beach in New Zealand was the carcass of a horrifying sea monster, which was found by a rather shocked civilian. This monster measured at least 30 feet, and it was found with its eyeless head peering out from the sand and its gaping jaws still opened and ready to attack. 
It definitely looked like a prehistoric menace, and a video of the monster was quickly uploaded to the web so that experts could weigh in on what they thought it was. Some people suggested it was a saltwater crocodile, and some said it was a giant moray eel, but according to a marine mammal expert, the huge creature was probably a killer whale in life. The experts told New Zealand local news that the carcass could easily be identified as an orca because of its flipper. However, because of the poor quality of the images, it was not easy to tell how the animal could have died. But considering killer whales roam pretty much every body of water from the polar regions to the equator, it's not surprising that one of them washed up on a beach in New Zealand. Number 1. Padre Island Sea Mystery A mystery creature that looks a lot like a worm was discovered on a beach at Padre Island. This mystery monster has left researchers in the beach a little confused. According to local news reports, nobody is sure whether it's a snake, an eel, or an unknown combination of both. After pictures were uploaded online, some researchers claimed that it could be a Texas blind snake washed up onto the beach because of some recent flooding. However, further investigations suggested that the creature was more of an eel than a snake, and now researchers are believing it's actually a snake eel that washed ashore. Snake eels are weird animals that burrow and hide in mud and sand, waiting patiently to catch small fish and crustaceans. It was probably just looking for food when it got stuck on the beach. Number 10. Liger Topping off the list today is the infamous Liger, a creature that is much more real than you may have known. These creatures are definitely not roaming around in the jungle or the savannah, but you can find a handful of these tiger-lion hybrids in captivity around the world. You might be wondering what's the difference between a Liger and a Tigon. Well, a Liger is what happens when you mix a male lion with a female tiger. The Liger is the biggest of any feline in the world, often standing taller and weighing more than either of the parent species. This is because the female lion usually adds a growth-inhibiting gene down to the cubs. But since the male lion is breeding with a tiger, and tigers don't have these growth-inhibiting genes, the ligers are able to grow much larger than they would otherwise. Keep in mind that a liger could never exist in the wild. Lions and tigers are actually separated by roughly 7 million years of evolution and are completely different animals. However, if this kind of mixed breeding continues, we may see entire zoos populated by ligers and a brand new species. Number 9. Human Z Chimpanzees are the closest relatives of humans. We look fairly similar, we have extremely similar DNA, and so it's no surprise that some lunatic at some point tried to create a human and chimpanzee hybrid known as a human Z. If you can breed a lion with a tiger, it stands to reason you could mate a primate with a human. And according to rumours, in the early 1900s, a Soviet biologist named Ilya Ivanovich Ivanov hypothesised to the World Congress of Zoologists that it would be possible to create the perfect hybrid using the sperm of a human and the body of a chimp. He proposed that it would be a possible missing link between humans and apes. Of course, because of the wildly controversial nature of trying to mix a human with a chimp, Ivanov's experiments eventually stopped, and he was arrested in 1930 before he was able to create a sustainable pregnancy in either a chimp or a human. And since then, several mad scientists and organisations have reportedly attempted to create this humanity, but there have been no documented cases of one actually existing. There are some unsubstantiated rumours that the United States did create a humanity in a secret lab back in the 1920s, but this is not verified. So far as we know, there aren't actually any humanzies running around on Earth, but there very well could have been one created in a lab many years ago that we will never know of. Number 8. Tigon A Tigon is what happens when you mix a female lion with a male tiger. Basically, the opposite of a liger, but still using the same two species of animals. While ligers are definitely cool, some may say that Tigons are actually way cooler. There's just something about mixing the female lion DNA with the male tiger DNA that creates a strikingly beautiful animal. The Tigon has the adorable face of a lion, but coated in faded tiger stripes. These animals are truly unique. The very first Tigon was supposedly bred and born in India, but there are now estimated to be around 9 countries with Tigons, including the USA and Russia. Tigons are smaller than ligers, but they are apparently more aggressive. One of the most interesting results of this mix is that Tigons are fantastic swimmers and actually enjoy the water. This is funny because lions hate the water and never want to swim even to save their life, but tigers are fantastic swimmers and don't mind hanging out in the water. It just shows how conflicting traits can be when you breed two vastly different animals. Number 7. Zebroid Leave it to the Russians to create an animal known as a zebroid. This is a hybrid animal born after a zebra mixed with a donkey stallion. 
It was born in 2019 and was supposedly the second ever zebroid born in the country. In the photos posted by the zoo on social media, you can clearly see how strangely mixed this little baby zebroid really is. It has striped black and white legs just like a zebra, but it has shaggy brown fur just like a donkey. It really is quite strange. This particular zebroid is a little weird, since it's usually a zebra stallion that is used to create hybrids rather than a donkey stallion. But nonetheless, the baby was born. It looks healthy and pretty normal all things considered, and it actually looks pretty happy standing beside its zebra mother. Many people believe that crossbreed offspring are easier to tame and train than pure zebras. Who knows, maybe people will have pet zebroids at home in the next few years. Number 6. Growler Bear The growler bear is what happens when a polar bear breeds with a grizzly bear. A recent story coming from the Canadian North says that a grizzly and polar bear hybrid was shot in the snowy northern town of Nunavut, and it wasn't the only one. According to CBC News, since 2006, Canadian hunters have reported at least three of these weird hybrid bears showing up unannounced. But according to researchers, this trend is actually becoming more common. Because these two bears have very similar genetics and a history of interbreeding already, it's not that surprising to see it happening more and more in the wild. In fact, one of the world's best bear experts from the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources says that the breeding is likely due to climate change. Grizzly bears are moving further north and polar bears are forced to move further south. This is putting them in close proximity and it's creating one of the only natural hybrids known about right now. In terms of appearance, the growler bear has a black nose, dark eyes and enormous claws. The body is shaped very much like a grizzly bear, but when you look at it you immediately think polar bear because of the white fur. It really is quite an extraordinary creature. Number 5. Beefalo This story is almost too bizarre to be true. When bison were bred with domestic cattle, they created a hybrid animal known as the beefalo. This in itself is not extraordinary. But what is rather strange is the fact that the creatures somehow escaped from where they were being held, went down into the area around the Grand Canyon and are now causing environmental havoc. According to BBC News, the beefalo is the result of a failed breeding program. Beefalo are also the source of a lot of controversy. Environmentalists and Native American groups want the unnatural hybrids removed from the area, but there are now estimated to be around 600 beefalo roaming around the Grand Canyon's north rim. There's no way that anyone can go in and cull 600 unique hybrid animals without raising a huge backlash from the public. But still, the beefalo are bad for the area. They can consume at least 10 gallons of water each time they find a watering hole, and they are ruining the soil and eating all the grass. They are basically eating and drinking the Grand Canyon dry, and all their destruction is even pushing other animals out of the ecosystem, at least according to environmentalists. Number 4. Karma Rama is a Karma, and she is a mixed breed between a camel and a llama. She was also the only one of her kind since her birth in 1995. But in 2008, better breeding techniques added even more Karmas to the world. These animals were bred thanks to a special team at Dubai's Camel Reproduction Center. They actually started the breeding program with the intent of creating camel and llama hybrids. They wanted to get the best of both species, and it looks like that's exactly what they've done. Karmas don't have humps, they have long and fluffy hair just like a llama, and they have pretty horrendous teeth like a camel. But most importantly, they have strong legs that work well in the desert. But perhaps the strangest characteristic of this hybrid is that the karma has partially cloven feet, something halfway between the soft footpads of a camel and the cloven feet of a llama. It is absolutely strange. According to one of the doctors from the breeding program, it's actually impossible for a male llama to impregnate a female camel. It only works when a male camel impregnates a female llama. So, keep this in mind for the next time you start up some weird breeding experiments of your own. Number 3. Wolf Dog The wolf dog is exactly what it sounds like. This hybrid is a mixture between a wild wolf and a domestic dog. This is one of the easier hybrids to make, since these animals share an evolutionary past and many physical and behavioural traits. After all, dogs evolved from wolves through just a few hundred years of domestication. When it comes to hybrids, you never really know what you're going to get. Wolves are so much different from dogs, living in packs and not relying on humans at all to survive. Whether these hybrids make good pets or not is an area of huge contention. They are very hard to predict. If you are hoping to have a wolf dog living in your house, you will be sorely disappointed. Wolf dog hybrids still have way too much wild in them to be any good in your home. For example, you can expect huge amounts of urination all over your house. 
This is because wolves are still very territorial, whereas dogs have lost the instinct to urinate on everything through domestication. They are quite similar to wolves in this regard. This is just one challenge when dealing with a hybrid for a pet. Number 2. Zorse What do you get when you cross a zebra with a horse? You get a zorse. This absolutely stunning creature has the body of a horse and the faded black stripes of a zebra. It's an absolutely majestic creature that really does exist in our world today. It's a mixture between the domestication of a horse and the colourful coat of a zebra, but the results are not always as intended. According to a science-based horse trainer out of France, it's like trying to cross a wolf with a dog. In this case, the zebra is the wolf and the horse is the dog. This is because zebras are wild, impossible to tame and very stubborn creatures. And when you cross the horse and a zebra, and you think you're going to get half of each animal, in the end you don't get either, just like with a wolf dog. Instead, the zorse you're left with is an absolute anomaly that doesn't really belong anywhere. This is because with all that mixed DNA, a zorse doesn't really know which way to go instinctively. It makes their behaviour tricky and sometimes unpredictable. Number 1. Geep Last on the list is probably the most adorable animal you have ever seen. I'm talking about a geep. A geep is a rare hybrid goat and sheep mix that gives you the best of both species. One of the first documented cases happened on an Irish farm back in 2014. The strange hybrid animal was believed to be an unintentional accident that happened when a goat and a sheep had a little bit too much fun without the farmer's permission. The farmer described finding the baby geep as a complete shock and he claimed that no such event has ever happened on his farm before. According to the story from the BBC, the geep was perfectly healthy, it got along with all the other lambs that were born around the same time, and the mother sheep was raising it just as she would any other lamb. The only real difference was that the geep was way quicker than his sheep cousins, able to outrun every other baby animal on the farm. Do you think hybrids are the future or a major mistake of science? Number 10 the Titanoboa. Out of all the giant monsters to have ever lived in the Amazon, the legendary Titanoboa is the most gigantic of them all. This enormous snake was first discovered fossilized in Colombia and it has since revealed an image of what the region looked like thousands of years ago. It turns out that the Amazon rainforest was ruled by beasts far larger than anyone had previously imagined. The Titanoboa was longer than a school bus and at least as heavy as a small car. It ruled the tropical ecosystems of South America 6 million years after the fall of the most legendary dinosaurs of all, according to a report from the journal Nature. Based on the fossils found of the Titanoboa, it would have been around 45 feet long. That would have made the snake as long as the Tyrannosaurus rex. The snake would have lived in the same environments as the modern anaconda. It would have slithered through waterways and hung out in lakes, eating pretty much everything it wanted. The snake would have been so big that it couldn't have fit through a standard doorway without quite a bit of squeezing. Thankfully, this monstrous beast is no longer alive today, otherwise nobody would ever go to the Amazon rainforest. Number 9. The Sloth Monster All throughout the Amazon rainforest there is one persistent legend. The myth is about a creature known as the Mapingwari, also known as the Sloth Monster. Not just a giant sloth, but an actual sloth monster. It's a very popular legend in Brazilian culture, and the tales persist even today. There have been reported sightings of this gigantic beast almost every year, but unfortunately the true evidence is lacking. But let's start the story at the beginning. The sloth monster has been around for at least a few thousand years, and it apparently began life as an Amazonian shaman who found the secret to immortality. This shaman became smug, and the gods punished him by turning him into a giant sloth and banishing him to wander aimlessly through the forest for eternity. While that obviously didn't happen, the truth is that the giant sloth monster could in fact just be a giant sloth. These creatures did indeed exist. The giant ground sloth has been extinct for thousands of years, but when alive it grew to an amazing size of around 10 feet when standing on its hind legs. That makes it a pretty huge monster. It is possible that people have throughout the centuries mistaken the legendary sloth monster for a real ground sloth, though it's unlikely any of these animals are still alive, even hiding in the density of the jungle. Number 8. Giant Amazon Leech Let's change gears now and move from legend to fact. The giant Amazon leech is one of the most terrifying nightmare creatures in the world. While it's not a giant like the Titanoboa or the sloth monster, for a leech it is a verifiable behemoth. The giant leech was thought to be extinct way back in the 1890s, 
but it was rediscovered in the 1970s in French Guyana. There is now a successful breeding colony at UC Berkeley. When talking science, the giant Amazon leech can grow to be almost 20 inches in length. That makes it just about two feet long. Imagine a leech the size of your forearm trying to suck you dry of all of your blood. It's absolutely terrifying. The leeches are a greyish brown colour, and rather than bite onto you, these buggers actually use a six inch tube, kind of like a straw, to stab you and suck out your blood. The leech then produces an anticoagulant from its saliva that keeps your blood flowing. If you got covered in enough of these leeches while swimming in a river, you'd be sucked dry. Number seven, the Amazon manatee. There are three types of manatees in the world, and one of them lives in the tributaries of the Amazon River in Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, and Guyana. These are some of the biggest marine creatures that make their home in the Amazon jungle. In terms of sheer mass, manatees are huge. They can weigh at least half a ton. And while not inherently dangerous, they are certainly strange. They have a snout very similar to that of a hippo, and they have limbs that look more like paddles. But rather than terrorise the rivers of the Amazon like a nasty black caiman, manatees prefer to just eat water lettuce all throughout the day. In a single day, these weird river monsters can eat at least 8% of their body weight according to the World Wildlife Foundation. Not monstrous in a scary way, but they are certainly the largest and heaviest animal currently living in the Amazonian jungle. Number 6. The Jaguar Now let's check out the largest land predator in the Amazon. I'm of course talking about the jaguar. It's the largest species of cat in the Americas and the third biggest cat in the world after the lion and the tiger. While the jaguar may seem oddly adorable in photos, it's the last thing you would want sneaking up on you in the middle of a dark night while camping in the jungle. The jaguar has so much strength in its jaws that it could easily crush your skull with just one bite. As cool as it would be to think that there are mysterious monsters skulking around in the jungle, the truth is that the jaguar is the apex land predator in all of the Americas. The jaguar is also in a steep decline, with not very many of them left because of territory loss and poaching. But that doesn't mean you should let your guard down. A jaguar can make an easy meal out of any stray traveller not prepared. Number 5. The Giant Centipede there are a lot of disgusting creepy crawlies in the Amazon jungle, but the worst of all is the giant Amazonian centipede. Comparatively speaking, it's a bigger monster than anything with four legs. It's also scarier than anything with eight legs. Yes, the giant Goliath bird eater is the largest spider in the world and it also lives in the Amazon jungle, but there is something inherently disturbing about a centipede that can grow to be a foot long. I'd rather come across the largest spider than the largest centipede. It's also a little disturbing that this centipede sometimes crawls up cave walls so it can dangle from the ceiling to scoop up bats as they fly underneath. Any centipede that can prey on bats and birds is not something you want to meet. This awful monster has between 21 and 23 sections on its body, with each section having two yellow legs. And yes, yellow is the most disgusting colour for any living creature to be. Of course, unless you're Pikachu. Another disturbing fact about the giant centipede is that it's carnivorous and incredibly aggressive. It will feed on literally anything, including lizards and snakes. It's also venomous, and if you were ever to be bitten by one, you would be in an insane amount of pain. It's not deadly to humans, but it does have one of the most painful bites in the world. Number 4. Killer Anaconda Anacondas are the largest and most horrifying snakes in the world. They're not venomous, but they are terrifying. They are also the largest slithering monsters currently living in the Amazon. And while we already know lots about normal anacondas, there has been a photograph circulating that claims to depict a 134-foot anaconda that has been caught in the Amazon after eating 257 people. This seems like something that could definitely happen in the Amazon at first glance, but according to Snopes.com, it's actually a fake picture. The image was not of the world's largest anaconda being transported on a flatbed truck. Upon closer inspection, you can see the truck is actually just a toy. You have been duped. The real anacondas of the Amazon can grow to be about 30 feet long and are capable of eating humans, crocodiles and whatever else they're in the mood for. Keep in mind that the legendary Titanoboa was at most 50 feet long, only 20 feet longer than a modern anaconda. There's no way any snake on earth today is longer than 50 feet. It's simply not possible. Number 3. The Giant Armadillo, Glyptodon. On Earth today, we have giant armadillos living in the Amazon jungle that are surprisingly huge. Modern giant armadillos can weigh up to 180 pounds and be 5 feet in height. They even have claws that are roughly 8 inches in length, 
making them excellent for slicing up humans. But rewind the clock 11,000 years ago and you will discover the true giant armadillo, scientifically known as the Glyptodon. This armadillo lived in the Amazon jungle and was so large that humans could use its shell as a house. A small family could literally live inside the shell of this armadillo because it was so impossibly massive. It was about as big as a car and could club a person to death with its tail. This beast would have lived during the time the giant sloth monster also roamed the Amazon, right at the end of the era of monstrous beasts. Another interesting fact about the Glyptodon is that it actually looked more like a turtle than a modern armadillo. This is because it had an armoured back that consisted of at least 1,000 bony plates all fit snugly together. Number 2. Arapaima The biggest fish in the Amazon jungle is the Arapaima, and it's one of the scariest things ever. These huge fish are native to the Amazon River Basin, and they can reach an outstanding weight of at least 400 pounds. These fish are too big to catch. Imagine trying to wrestle a 400 pound freak fish out of a river. They can be at least 10 feet long, and are so strong that if one of them hits you square in the chest with its face while in the water, it could knock the wind out of you, leave serious bruising, and maybe even shatter your ribs. In terms of giant Amazon monsters, the Arapaima fits the description perfectly. However, a recent report from NBC News claims that these dangerous fish are already extinct in some parts of the Amazon. In other parts, their numbers are rapidly dwindling. That's a shame, as these are extremely unique animals. They're able to breathe air using a combination of a lung and gill system, making them extraordinary in the animal kingdom. Number 1. Howler Monkeys Howler monkeys are the largest of all monkeys currently found in the Amazon jungle. While you might not think of a howler monkey as a giant monster, these are the biggest, baddest, scariest and loudest tree-swinging monsters in the Amazon jungle. According to New Scientist, male howler monkeys are actually able to make one of the loudest noises of any terrestrial animal. They make such a horrifying noise that you would probably poop your pants if you heard one while walking through the jungle. If you didn't know any better, you would think there was a 10-foot gorilla somewhere nearby ready to rip your arms off. Of course, the howler monkeys use their awful screaming to scare off other males, but they can still make the hair on your neck stand up in fear. You'll probably never encounter a howler monkey in the Amazon, as they live way up in the canopy, but their roars will haunt your dreams. If you're curious about how they make such a devastating roar, even more horrifying than that of a tiger or a lion, it's because howler monkeys have specially enlarged bones inside their necks that are used for holding a sound amplifying air sac. They're one of the only animals that have evolved such a strange mechanism. Which one of these living monsters is the most terrifying? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and see you again soon for another awesome video.